My name is Laura Armstrong. I'm a senior communication student at Liberty University, and for Communications 475 Rhetorical Theory, I've chosen to do a two-minute thinker on Quintilian. Marcus Fabius Quintilianus was a native of Spain and moved to Rome. He is the only documented rhetorician to have ever received the imperial grant. He is an advocate and a teacher of rhetoric, and he taught until the age of 50 in 90 AD upon which time he retired from teaching and started writing the Institutes, or De Institution Oratia, also known as On the Education of the Orator. Um, this is a compendium of 12 books focusing on one's rhetor rhetorical education from birth until death, um, which Quintilian believed was a process that had never was never completed, that one was always learning different aspects of rhetoric and how to become a better orator. He believed that um, upon completion of one's rhetorical career, one still had an obligation to one's society to continue to be the perfect orator, to continue to learn and to continue to pass on his education to his fellow orators which Book 12 focuses entirely on this, the character of the perfect orator and his activities upon retirement from active practice. Quintilian believed that the character of the ideal orator would protect the innocent, defend the truth, deter criminal behavior, inspire the military, and inspire the citizen body as a whole. I think this has great 21st century application for that of celebrities and politicians, as well as orators in your local citizen body, orators like your preachers, your teachers, and what are they doing even after their retirement to inspire citizen body as a whole?